looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the Super Bowl promo, what to expect, some players that I predict we'll be seeing, and kind of the overview of how this promo typically goes. Now, if you guys have been following Madden for any time, any time ever, you guys know the Super Bowl promo usually pretty awesome, usually includes some fun players, sometimes repeats like, you know, the Steve Youngs, the Terrell Davises, um, Joe Montana's, the Tom Brady's, the Eli Manning's, uh, David Tyree's, like those are the cards we typically see. So I'm gonna go over some of the ones that I think we could see this time around, as well as what I expect, the currency they did leak that, some of the players they already went over. But before we get into today's video, guys, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys, join the family, give this video a big thumbs up as always. Like I've been saying, guys, comments and likes are huge for the channel. If, you, if all you guys are watching right now, the loyal, all you got to do is say a word, anything in the comments, and always like the video right after. Helps the channel out a lot, guys, especially on YouTube. So make sure you guys are doing that. Say what's up. Let me know what you're doing. Let me know how the team overall is, your favorite player in the NFL, who you think's winning the Super Bowl. Doesn't matter. And smash the like button. But anyways, if you guys need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve down below and use code Poodle for an extra percentage off at checkout. Now, moving on from that, guys, let's get into this. So as you guys know, they did leak the currency for the Super Bowl, which is going to be further down. So if you look above, right over there somewhere, uh, right there, Series 4 trophies. Next to that will be first down. So that will be the new currency. Now, again, you can't start collecting that yet. But what you can do, guys, is continue to do your Super Bowl um, collectibles that you can get. You remember there's, there's a thing right now. If you do certain solos and stuff, you're getting Super Bowl stuff. I don't remember where exactly it was, but remember, you can collect some of the Super Bowl stuff, that like the Super Bowl tokens. So make sure you're collecting that for some elite Super Bowl players. When the time does come, but anyways, I'm going to take you guys over to some Mudhead stuff and then go over who I predict. Now, actually, start with the predictions. The predictions are pretty, some fun predictions here. So if you guys remember, there was a, a list earlier in the year of legends that NFL partnered up with or EA partnered up with that we pretty much have been getting. So for my first, one of my first predictions that I think we could get, which seems pretty likely at this point, I don't know if he'd be the best back in the game, but he'd be right there for it. And that's Terrell Davis, guys. Terrell Davis is a Super Bowl staple, playoff Madden staple. Now, we haven't seen him in a little bit. At least this year, we haven't. So, I can see us getting a nice Terrell Davis. Now, Terrell Davis would probably be similar to this Arian Foster. Um, Terrell Davis is a Super Bowl running back. Gets the, gets the trucking, gets the break tackle, gets the speed. Now, I think it's a Super Bowl card. Terrell Davis may get the 95 base, which means he'll get a 96 speed. I don't think they'll give him a 97, personally, but he'll have good carrying. He'll have great agility, great speed, good power. Terrell Davis and Madden has always been a super well-rounded back. Although they typically knock him down in speed a little bit sometimes, but I don't think they'll do that here. I think we'll get a 95 speed base with 96 speed powered up at, at minimum, right? That's kind of what I expect. Now, Terrell Davis would be a beast. You know, been around the playoffs a bunch of times. Terrell Davis, part of the Elway era. One of the best players in Broncos history. I would love to see Terrell Davis back in the game. He's been, if you guys have been playing Madden long enough, you know he always got playoff cards, whether it be Super Bowl or just playoff cards. Always been a beast. Maybe in a chance at a free one. I don't know if he'll be a master or probably just a hero. Next on the list, guys, I do think we'll be seeing Joe Namath. Now we've I don't think I don't know if we've ever had a Joe Namath card in Madden. I could be wrong. But if I don't if I stand if I don't stand corrected here, I'm pretty sure I did see that they got the rights to Joe Namath early in the year. So if we got a Joe Namath, it'd be super cool. Now I don't know how they'd make his card. I'd have to imagine we could probably look at a Rich Gannon card and then either take probably take away some speed, maybe keep it similar. I don't know how they're going to build this card because Joe Namath played so long ago. He was a part of the one Super Bowl the Jets won, I believe, in 1969. Uh, it was like Super Bowl number, like the third counted Super Bowl and like the Super Bowl era. I don't know how they would do his card. I imagine Joe Namath would have crazy passing stats, like 90, 90 power up and chemed up, probably 99 throw power, all above 96 accuracy, all above 96 throw power, and I, well, throw everything. Now, speed may be in the 70s, maybe low 80s, maybe 60s. I don't know how they're going to value him in terms of speed. I personally never watched Joe Namath play. I mean, I wasn't born. I wasn't alive in the 70s, 80s, or 90s. He was long gone by the time I was around. But Joe Namath would be super cool, a new name. Same with Terry Bradshaw. I'd put Terry Bradshaw in there as my uh, my other flyer. It's going to be either Namath or Bradshaw, I think, that we'll be seeing. Because I believe they did say both their names in terms of whether or not they'd be coming to Madden. So I'm not sure which one, would, which one it will be. But either way, it's going to be a fun quarterback. Now, Joe Namath and Terry Bradshaw. Bradshaw will get a little bit more mobility, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. But Bradshaw, again, super accurate. Probably similar cards. just a matter of who they give us. Maybe they give us both. I'm not sure. But next, guys, this one's going to be fun. Santonio Holmes. Now, if they get, I want I want them to give him the card out of him making that sideline catch where he like completely extended over the sideline like Julio Jones. I want to see that as the card art. Now, Santonio Holmes would probably be... Ooh, I want to say... 
probably similar to this Deshaun Jackson, maybe a little better route running, probably like this Terry McLaurin, right? I think San Antonio Holmes will probably get 96 speed base, maybe. Maybe not. He'll probably get 95 or 96 speed base. Either get a 96 or 97 powered up. He'll end up with super crazy route running, super good catch in traffic, great after the catch with juking and spin. He'll be similar to this Terry McLaurin. Very similar. Um, probably a little bit better. Maybe gets to 97 overall powered up and chemmed up, or 98 overall, I should say, depending on what they do with Super Bowl overalls. But San Antonio Holmes would be an awesome card overall. I would love, love, love to see that. Now, the last one, again, Von Miller. Von Miller against Super Bowl hero in the, uh, I think it was 2015 against the Panthers. You remember the strip sack on Von Cam Newton and all the big plays he made. One Super Bowl MVP. Von Miller, you guys have been playing Madden again. Khalil Mack always has a similar card to Von Miller, except Von Miller is usually a bit more athletic and more finesse, I believe. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how it usually goes. So Von Miller probably would be, Khalil Mack was slightly better. Probably have 90 speed, a little bit faster, and then probably get similar block shed and then higher finesse move. It'll be very similar cards, but Von Miller will probably end up getting a 97 overall base. Maybe 96 plus 97 powered up. I'm not sure how they're going to do the Super Bowl overalls yet. But those are overall my predictions. Now, let's head over to Mudhead to show you guys what we've seen in the past. So, see, so you guys can kind of like reference it. All right, so we are over on the Mudhead screen. This is the one from last year. And then I'm going to go over the one from Madden 19. Now, the one from last year was super cool. We got David Tyree as an LTD. We had Franco Harris as an LTD. So, these cards are here with this special card art in the back where the LTD is. So, on top of the players, like the set ones, like Derek Brooks, Steve Young, Gene Upshaw, Malcolm Smith, these guys. We also got LTDs. So the thing is, they were 96 overalls last year. But last year, we were at a much low, uh, lower overall threshold at this point in the game. The overalls are actually higher this year. We're already at 97 overall. So I think the Super Bowl players may be 97 bases with powered up to 98. That's kind of what I suspect at this point. So we'll probably see some Super Bowl LTD performances like a David Tyree, Eli Manning, Tom Brady, and James White, so on and so forth. But for the most part, these were the set guys. We had Steve Young was one of our heroes last year. We usually get a quarterback, so that's why I think Joe Namath. We're going to probably get Terrell Davis, Joe Namath, or Steve Young. That's more or less what I suspect we'll be getting for the Super Bowl promo. But I would prefer to see Joe Namath or, um, what's it called, Terry Bradshaw, just because they're newer. You know, like, we, we haven't we haven't had one of those in a long time. And I personally don't think we've ever had Terry Bradshaw. Oh, like, I could be wrong. And then we'll get some lower guys, like, some from past Super Bowls, like, you know, some guy from the Panthers or some guy from the Patriots. Some guy from the Steelers, you know, they're not going to be the hugest names, but guys who have pretty big days in their, you know, in their respects. And of course, guys, we do have the Super Bowl present, which is going to be pretty simple. Players that are playing currently. So for this year, guys, it's going to be the Chiefs in Tampa Bay. So expect the Tom Brady, expect the Patrick Mahomes, expect maybe a Tyree Kill, a Travis Kelsey. But we just got a Kelsey, so maybe not a Kelsey. Um, you know, a lot of things that we could be expecting here. In, in, all, in all reality, guys, at the end of the day, they're going to be good cards, regardless of what name they are. Like, you know, we had uh, DeForest Buckner, Arik Armstead, Raheem Moss. Like, no matter what the name was, it was a good card because they're Super Bowl cards. We're going to see a bunch of good cards, maybe Tyron. Uh, there's going to be a lot of them. But that's for Super Bowl present, guys, so expect that. Next, we do have, more than likely, more than likely. Oh, and by the way, that Mahomes will probably end up being, if they give us a Super Bowl Mahomes, I don't know if they'll give us a card. They probably expect him to win MVP. So, I have a Super Bowl MVP, that is. So, if, he, if they win. So, I'm not sure if they give him a card. What they may do is give him a card. And then if he wins Super Bowl MVP, give him another card, right? So, if we go back real quick. If you remember, Patrick Mahomes had this 99. And they tried to not give him a card here for that exact reason. Although, had he not won Super Bowl MVP, I'm not sure what they would have done there. But, moving on, guys. This was Madden 19. So, we had Jack Tatum. These are when they were higher overalls. Keyshawn Johnson, Reggie White, Franco Harris, John Elway. Dallas Clark, Rondé Barber, Rodney Harrison, so on and so forth, guys. You guys get the point there. And then for that year, we had Julian Edelman. As, oh, this is the year they messed up with Julian Edelman. So he won Super Bowl MVP, but they also gave him a 98 Super Bowl presence. So the issue was it was a plus one overall, so you pretty much have to just go. So this player's team won the Super Bowl game, and this item increased by one overall. So the issue was that these cards went up by one overall for whoever won the Super Bowl or something like that. But I'm pretty sure the issue was that Julian Edelman already was he actually won MVP. So now you had this one that went up to 99 plus the MVP that you paid the pack for. It was a whole mess. There was an auctionable and a non-auctionable one. I don't remember, but they gotta try to avoid that. So they'll probably try to pick some players that more than likely won't win MVP. But yeah, this was that year. But guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. That covers the Super Bowl present and past for Madden 2020, 19, and going over the predictions for 21, of course. Now, this has the potential to be one of the more action-packed Super Bowls in terms of players, right? What we're gonna get. So Mahomes, meta. Tyreek Hill, meta. Tyron Matthew, more than likely meta. Uh, now we look at the other side. We go over to the other team they're playing, which is going to be the Buccaneers. I don't think Mike Evans or Godwin or any of those guys will be meta. 
uh, Gronkowski could be fun, but not meta. Tom Brady, not meta. Running backs, unless they give us like a crazy fast Ronald Jones or Leonard Fournette, probably not. So we won't be getting too much there. Maybe a Carlton Davis or a uh, one of their super fast cornerbacks. J Jamel Dean, maybe, but there's not going to be too much on the Bucks side, more so on the Chiefs side, but we also have the pass as well. So we're going to get a lot of good plays. Tyreek Hill, Mahomes alone, enough to give us enough cards for the Super Bowl promos to be happy with, right? But that pretty much wraps up today's video. If you guys did enjoy, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. And like I've been saying, guys, smash the like button and comment down below. If you do both those things, if you're a supporter, help to the channel a lot. Keep it up. And if you guys do need coins, head over to my reserve and use code Poodle for an additional discount at checkout. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.